everyone. Welcome to Temperament Tuesday on a Wednesday. I missed yesterday, so I'm a day late, a um, dollar short. But I just wanted to share something about the temperaments today that has to do with how you might be responding to the coronavirus um, based on your temperament. So of course, I'm going to give some huge generalizations and everyone is different and everyone's situation is different. We are all complex human beings, so I'm really giving generalizations. So take everything I say with regard to how you might be responding based on your temperament with a grain of salt. Um, so I'll put a, a link to my video that talks about the temperaments in general. So if this is the first time watching, you might not know what I'm talking about with regard to the four temperaments. So I'll put a link to that video. But um, if you have a little bit of knowledge about the temperaments, we'll just jump right in. So um, cholerics are the ones who have a strong, quick reaction and that lasts a long time. So I think one of the things the cholerics might be dealing with right now is um, they might be getting impatient, right? They might be getting impatient with um, how long things are taking to um, reopen, how, um, how the, the new pace of life, I know a lot of people's pace has really slowed down. I think the cholerics might really, really struggle with that. Um, and so a tip for the cholerics out there is that you're just going to have to realize that there are things you can control and things you can't control. It might even help to make a list. And this is a time of abandonment, right? This is a time of letting go. Um, like the serenity prayer, Lord grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So cholerics, this might be a time for you to embrace the slowing down hard as it might be, it's possible just because you have a natural tendency towards something doesn't mean you're not able of acting in a different way. So that's my tip for the cholerics. My sanguines out there, you might have the hardest time with the social distancing aspect, um, the aspect of isolation. Sanguines are the ones who have a quick, strong reaction, but it lasts a short amount of time. They tend to be very sociable. They tend to be um, really extroverted and um, cheerful, optimistic, engaged in other people. Um, they really value relationship. So sanguines might be having the hardest time when it comes to being in isolation, being quarantined, um, not being able to be with their friends and loved ones at this time. So for my sanguines, I just advise you to you know find ways to make it work. So a lot of people are doing virtual happy hours, virtual brunches, right, where you're all just in your own homes, and doing your own thing, drinking your own wine, eating your own brunch, but you still have a way to connect with your loved ones and your friends. So um, sanguines, it's also it's also a good time to slow down, right? I'm, I mean, you, you tend to be the ones who have and who thrive on the very hectic, busy social life schedule. So with that gone, what are you going to do to fill that time, sanguines? What are you going to do? So definitely fill your cup but also maybe take some time to do some, some things that you know you don't normally make time for, maybe some reading, etc. The melancholics out there, you guys might have a tough time, and I'm a melancholic, so um, you might have a tough time um, with worry and anxiety. I think it's very common for all temperaments to be experiencing that right now. But the melancholics have a natural um, tendency to worry, <laughs> a natural tendency to, um, to, to really take time to like ponder and it's not necessarily a good pondering, it's more foreboding pondering. So melancholics, I encourage you to talk out your worries with a trusted friend. Um, talk out your worries, like really name what you're worried about because once we name what we're actually worried about, sometimes it helps lessen the anxiety that we're feeling. Uh, melancholics also, if you can, if this is still you know something that you can do where you're living, Get outside. Um, of course, be socially distant from people that you may see outside. But if you can get some fresh air, if you can get some sunshine, it will help a lot. Um, and you'll see that the world is actually bigger than your living room. <laughs> you'll see that there's still a lot of beauty. There's still a lot of grace. There's still a lot of opportunity out there right now. For my phlegmatics, you guys are the ones who tend to be the most laid back. You tend to be the most um, chill. Um, and, and so this pandemic might not be affecting you emotionally, mentally, the same way it's affecting the other temperaments. Um, so you actually might be like, eh, it'll pass. Like that might be kind of your overall attitude. And eh. um, as a result, you might 
actually be tempted to um, kind of live a, a lazier life at this moment in time. You might actually be tempted to, to just kind of sit back. And I encourage you phlegmatics to find way to find a way to give right now. So many people are giving. Um, so everyone has something to offer. I guarantee it. Um, so phlegmatics, that includes you. So find a way to give back. Maybe there's an expert expertise that you have that you can share with the world online right now. Um, maybe it's just reaching out to your friends via text, right? Maybe it's just um, posting things on social media that are providing encouragement, support. Um, maybe maybe just praying for someone, phlegmatics. Maybe, maybe that's the way that you're being called to support others right now. But phlegmatics, don't just sit back and wait for it to pass. Use this time wisely and use it to help others. So that's my Temperament Tuesday on a Wednesday message. Um, and like I said, I'll put the post, I'll put the link in the comments about the initial um, longer explanation of what the temperaments are in case you're new to my Temperament Tuesday talks. And just take good care of yourself, guys. We're going to get through it and be gentle with yourself.